what's going on guys, Spion here again, Goosebumps number one Aussie fan bringing you another video. Now I've had a lot of you asking me this question lately since I made my Goosebumps uh, web series announcement video because I said I was making obviously a web series about uh, a young boy who's like obsessed with Goosebumps and uh, he will never bow down to Harry Potter and you know because everyone's trying to tell him you know Goosebumps is old and lame now, Harry Potter is now the new thing. And a lot of you are asking me, you know, is Harry Potter the reason why Goosebumps fizzled out? I will give you one short answer. Yes, Harry Potter is the reason why Goosebumps fizzled out. Okay, Goosebumps was going strong, okay, stronger than ever. Harry Potter came out and then Goosebumps book sales dropped, okay? That is the reason why Goosebumps faded away in the late 90s, early 2000s. It was because of Harry Potter, okay? It is true. Harry Potter books got really popular, Goosebump books were slowly decreasing, okay guys, they were slowly fizzling out, that is the truth of it. Now I've had a few of you asking me, couldn't Goosebumps have still been a big thing, like even with Harry Potter around? Well guys, Goosebumps was the number one selling book series for children, okay, in the mid 90s, it was the number one selling books, right? Number one. Harry Potter came out and slowly took over that role and then Harry Potter became number one, okay? And not only that, they did the Harry Potter movies. Now, I believe if they did do a Goosebump movie back in 1998 when they announced it by, you know, with Tim Burton, I feel like Goosebump still would have been a big thing, okay? It still would have maintained its popularity, but since the movie never happened, the TV show got cancelled, yeah, Harry Potter sort of took over, okay, and became the number one best-selling children's book series, okay, guys? It is true, it is the fact, that's what happened, and it's funny, you know, like, when they announced the Goosebump movie, not, not much longer later, I don't know if you guys realize this, but, okay, there was already, like, the Fantastic Beasts, you know, the Tales of Beetle the Bard, you know, they had, like, those little spin-offs of Harry Potter stories, well, guys, when the Goosebump movie sort of got like announced back in 2014 or 13 or 14 I'm pretty sure it was when they like officially announced yes it's happening Rob Letterman is going to direct there was that really like short synopsis it didn't take it wasn't much later that Fantastic Beasts was announced that they were doing a movie so I feel like JK Rowling maybe sees competition okay I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter as well I love Harry Potter okay I grew up watching the movies but just giving you a fact of what is the truth behind it is Harry Potter is the reason why Goosebumps became number two, obviously, because Goose, you know, Harry Potter became number one and Goosebumps slowly fizzled out, became number two. But since the 90s, Goosebumps is still number two. It's going strong at uh, 350 million plus books, you know, but Harry Potter has sold like 450, 500 million. So, yeah, guys, uh, it's well ahead and uh, with the new Fantastic Beast coming out I have a feeling Goosebumps may slowly fizzle out again I really am you know it's not a good thing for me you know I'm not very happy about it you know I hope you guys will still follow my channel and not go on you know rambling on with Harry Potter and you know the new Fantastic Beast because they have announced a Fantastic Beast sequel and uh, yeah I'm just hoping that Goosebumps doesn't really fizzle out again you know like it did in the 90s now that Harry Potter I mean the last movie was kind of the end, and I remember J.K. Rowling saying, you know, that they weren't going to do any more Harry Potters, but it's technically it's not Harry Potter, but it's still in the universe, you know, and they're still going to be doing more to it, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's in the universe, people are going to go see it, so you know what I mean? Like, but uh, hopefully with the Goosebumps sequel, you know, it will maintain its popularity because, you know, Harry Potter was the reason Goosebumps fizzled out, so I have a feeling that might happen again sometime over the next, you know, few months, you know, with the movie coming out. But uh, who knows, guys, I, you know, but I'm just giving you a fact, Harry Potter is the reason why that Goosebumps did fizzle out, but I'm not upset about it, I'm not angry about it, because, you know, that's very hypocritical if I was, because I do like Harry Potter as well, you know what I mean? I do like it, and I do like the Fantastic Beasts, I like the universe of Harry Potter, but obviously Goosebumps is the number one for me, clearly. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm just telling you, it was the reason why Goosebumps fizzled out. Harry Potter came in. Harry, you know, and then Goosebumps slowly faded out. That's just, that's what happened. So, you know, we can't change that now, okay? History's been written, that's just how it is. But, I mean, being number two is not bad. Goosebumps is still the second biggest selling children's book series of all time, you know? So, you know, being number two isn't bad at all. You know, it's still amazing, you know, achievement. You know, Arl Stein has done so well. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm just telling you it is the reason why. Because I've had a few of you asking me, is it really, though? Yes, it is, okay? It is clearly the reason why. 
one other thing I'll quickly just add at the end of this video, guys, just to sort of uh, finish this off, you know, on a happy note. To uh, my Goosebumps uh, followers who are collectors, I have just gotten these Goosebumps 3D Puffy stickers. I actually got them from that antique and collectible store. They gave me another phone call, and uh, yeah, these came in. They said it was weird, like, they got all these Wallace and Gromit stickers, and then amongst it, they said was this, and they just couldn't believe it. So, uh, yeah, guys, it's something new. It's really cool. Uh, it's got, like... The haunted mask on it, you know, which is surprising. It's got Slappy, the mummy, uh, Cuddles, the shrunken head, Curly. Now, uh, to my Goosebumps uh, followers, yeah, who are collectors, have you ever seen these before? Because I never have. This is the first I've ever seen of Goosebump 3D, like, puffy cloud stickers, you know? So I thought, hmm, that's interesting. So I obviously added at the end of this video, you know, guys, because obviously it's not just talking about Goosebumps, you know, as a whole gossiping. Also, it's about collecting and finding really rare things. Uh, but yeah, I've never seen these before, so I'm guessing they are rare. But uh, anyway, guys, yep, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again soon.